is a multi-talented actress who has made waves in all the corners of Hollywood. Now a big role on oh. HBO's Euphoria. Cody standing by with more. Alana Eubanks joining us right now. She might be my favorite actor in the world. What? I love her so. Thank you. Hi. This I, is my dad. Oh, nice well, excellent. Oh, well, well, thank you for inviting us in. Uh, I got to admit something to you. We've talked a couple times. We've done a couple interviews. I, I always enjoy talking to you, uh, but I've never admitted this. I had the biggest crush on you from Beekman's World when you were Josie. That was that was it right there. That's where we you first connected. Chicks. Was that? Would you say well, I was six? Stop it! You like the weird chicks? That's so cool. <laughs> 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 okay, let's talk about Euphoria. You play the Suze. Yeah. I found a clip that we could show on the morning show here. It was let's hard. It. Okay, here we go. Here's a clip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's all I could find. That's all we could show. <laughs> it's a, it's there's a, a lot of there's a lot of profanity on yeah. that show. Yeah. I will admit. So there's a lot of beeping, of course, if it's on a show like this. <laughs> okay, so the only the only footage you saw of me where I'm actually not using profanity. Exactly. Exactly. I, I tried my best. I tried my best. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, last couple episodes. I mean, Suze has been the cool mom, um, sure. but I feel like she's progressing in another way on the show. Is is is, am I, is that in my head or, or or what's the goal here? Well, Sam and I had a discussion about that. In fact, when uh, when I first started out in the first season, I thought, hmm, as a single mom, you tend to espouse one of your children, and I think you're only as happy as your saddest kid. So Cassie, played by Sydney Sweeney, the beautiful and talented Sydney Sweeney. Cassie and I have somewhat, we've, we've, uh, we've espoused each other. We're joined at the hip, we're codependent. So she's very comfortable letting me in on all of her secrets and when she's in trouble and, and you know, exposing herself and allowing herself to, to go crazy in front of me. It's, it's that much of a bond between mother and daughter. It's a wild relationship, very interesting. It is so good. Like, Thank seriously, you. I cannot look away when you guys are, are working together on the screen. Uh, you. When you get the script, what is that like? Because the show is out there. You know, it, it's it's putting the puzzle pieces together. The, the show, especially now, I mean, the, the scripts are like Fort Knox. You really, um, we, we have usually a reading of, of three episodes in a row. So you're very aware of where your character is going. There's an arc there, and um, a lot of the times there are rewrites that morning. So you'll come to work and look at it and say, "Oh my gosh, I'm I'm uh, I'm watching Millionaire Matchmaker. That's fantastic." Okay, <laughs> so you really have to be sort of pliable and ready for anything. Well, uh, our scripts here are written like mere seconds before we read them. So <laughs> we understand your pain. I bet. Okay, I always like to ask you about other projects. Uh, of course, you're going to be on uh, the flight attendant on HBO and I'm reserving time for you now because I love that show I cannot wait to oh. see you on that uh, but Haley let's Cuoco is just magnificent she and I play rivals it's a lot of fun oh. to pretend to hate each other <laughs> when the camera's rolling it's, it's I cannot super wait. fun okay we'll, we'll talk to you about that because I, I gotta go back so let's go back uh, I'll give you a choice give me a house story a West Wing story or it's an always sunny in Philadelphia story Oh, oh gosh. Uh, do you want me to give you an It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia story? This is a really yeah. fun fact. Yes. Danny DeVito played my father in Renaissance Man. I I believe I was cast because I'm 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 small, <laughs> as is Danny DeVito, you know, and we are petite. And so I played his daughter in Renaissance Man and then cut to like 20, 30 years later, I'm playing his fiance. And when I walked on the set, I said, Danny, I don't know if you remember me, but I played your daughter in Renaissance. And he's like, oh, Lana, oh, my gosh, this is so weird. And now you're this hooker. My oh, worlds collide. I mean, talk about how, how, how funny that is to, to be, to, to, to play both roles, that Danny DeVito. That was a lot of fun. He's such what a went wrong? What went wrong? You were my daughter and now you're a hooker. <laughs> 20 years what, later. What happened to the both of us? Look at us now. What a couple of losers. No, but.
But um, yeah, it was it was just so much fun. And I thought, Danny, is it okay to uh, make out with you in, in in this next shot? Because I'm I'm just gonna grab you and start kissing you. He's like. I do what you want, Alana, whatever makes him laugh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. Uh, he rode my Jungle Cruise boat, and I asked him the same thing. Is it okay if I make out with you? But it didn't, it didn't, he said no. <laughs> we, we take what we can get. <laughs> okay, we got to go. Uh, uh, once again, uh, the flight attendant coming up. I want to talk to you about that. But as we go, uh, will you jump on the bed for us? Just, just <laughs> jump up and down on the bed. <laughs> I'm wearing my pets right now underneath it. So here we go. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're the best. Watch her on Euphoria. I'm telling you, Sue's. And the daughters and the relationship is so good. <laughs> Thank but you don't so watch much. it with small kids. You gotta be around adults. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Of. Yes. No, please do not show this to, uh, to your kids under 18, please. <laughs> God forbid. She jumped to the bed for us. That you're the bed. Seriously, you're the best. <laughs> that was great. All right, back to you, Court. Thanks, Coach. Thanks I so love much. that she jumped on the bed. You know that's a moment for today. You know that, right? <laughs>